almost 100 countries around the world celebrate their own versions of a National Pride Day, Independent Days, or Founding Day. In Japan, National Foundation Day occurs annually on February 11th. There is a sharp difference between Japan's founding days and those of other nations, though, in that there is a little fanfare and minimal public celebration. It wasn't until during the Meiji Restoration that the day was enacted as a national holiday by the government as a way to boost the pride of citizens for their country. Also, it was initially considered one of Japan's four largest annual holidays. Completed with parade and flag waving, it has received little attention in recent years. There is a tendency among Japanese to be a lot more reserved these days when it comes to celebrate their own country. On the day itself, most of us will just enjoy having a day off from work and not really think about the reason for it. Those who do decide to wander downtown that may see a few more flags based on that they normally would along with some special foundation days, sales going on at the local department stores. However, you choose to celebrate National Foundation Days to try to remember what the day is actually about. Over the past years, it's grown from angry netizen, netizens criticizing the Chinese Community Party to coalescing along on the unified need to challenge ultra classes. Its name is as a park at mainland China. The local styles of the regional milky teas are symbol of cultural identity that is distinct from their massive neighbor. It rarely gives a Chinese a lesson to run that where 
they want to isolate Hong Kong people. We can always find a way to garner more support. The Milky Tea Alliance as a potentially powerful weapons for Myanmar's unarmed activists too. The military is afraid of the influence that the younger generation brings and the global tensions. We've seen large protest movement elsewhere in Asia, like in Thailand and Hong Kong. Authorities are cracking down on this hand. There are two protesters are taking a hard look at China and its dominance on the region and blaming it for their lack of freedoms. Democracy in Asia, the fighting for democracy and the warning this. Myanmar's to Thailand to Hong Kong. Across Asia, democracy is under violent attacks. Myanmar is a citizen protesting the month old military coup uh, getting a war therapy. It's really bad. It's crossing the line. It's not as bad you can uh, as 1988, where well, there was a massive killing in the streets, but that just reminded of the slight degree. International coordination has a fraud. We needed an end to the end in indiscriminated violence. Instead of listening, Myanmar's military has doubled down on its uh, aggressions. As you Youths are turning to themselves for help. As agent, pro-democracy movement towers itself, the Milk Tea Alliance is reaching across borders. You are seeing that play out in real time, places like Hong Kong, in places like Th Thailand, and now you are seeing it spread in Myanmar. And it's quite remarkable. They are now working as solidarity with one another. In Hong Kong, Myanmar, and Thailand, activists all now share the three fingers Hunger Games style salute, salute. But it is a major of the alliance as infancy, the same day the protest organized in Australia, Taiwan, Hong Kong, and Thailand in supporting for Myanmar's residents missed major coverage because Myanmar's military killings were so brutal, they dominated the headline. Even so, the Milk Tea Alliance may have a future. One that could be a worry for Chinese authoritarian leaders. China does feel that liberal activity anywhere can be problematic for them, which is why you see them trying to shape a world that's more illiberal. We really need a global response to the decline of democracy and to fight against the rise of authoritarianism. So that is a clue for them for how they approach democracy and the future.
Why are you? 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 Why are you?